Hey everybody, Jill here, introducing you today to Low Fruits. Low Fruits is a keyword research tool, but what makes it a little bit unique is that it really looks for opportunities that are easy to rank for. So if you have a domain that's uh, 30, you obviously want to try and find keywords where domains are ranking lower than you, or they're filled with user-generated content from like forums uh, or Reddit or Quora, things like that. That's what this tool does. It really digs and finds those opportunities for you. One of the things I do love about it is that it is affordable. Um, so, you know, if you're a small blogger or a small website with not a huge budget, they have packages for everybody. Um, and for 2,000 credits, you can get quite a bit for 2,000 credits. So for $25, you may find 1,000 keywords, you know, if you're smart in the way that you search. Um, so if after this video you're interested, you can do a free trial. And they'll give you 20 free credits. That's what I'm actually using today. I wanted to do it under a different account. So you can get 20 free credits. And these are all pay as you go. So once you buy these 2,000 credits, you can use them whenever you would like. There's no maximum time. Um, the one thing is they do not give refunds though. So you do have to be careful. Um, so if you just want to test it out, maybe spend the $25. They do, they do also have subscription options as well. So you can do an annual subscription or a monthly subscription. Okay, so affordable, easy to use. It's it's so pretty. <laughs> um, so this is a dashboard, and like I said, I think this is really pretty. Uh, the, the less is more aspect works for me. Um, so right now I have three reports in here that I've already done. Okay, And then here's the credits I currently have available. I started with 20. I'm now at 16. And I'll show you how the credits work in a minute. Okay, If you go into here, you'll see the reports that I ran. These are some of my test reports. You can see here, best star for vegans. Okay, With this list, I actually did find an opportunity. Okay, These I haven't really looked at yet. I just played around with this one. I found an opportunity. So what I did is I added it to a keyword list. Okay, So in here you can create lists for different things that you may be tracking. So for vegan buying guides, I can click on this and I found best air fryer for vegans. Okay, So I may, as I go through my research, find other vegan buying guide opportunities. I might have you know, best smoothie maker for vegans or best citrus juicer for vegans or whatever. I can add all those to this list and I can easily see all the information right away. Okay, You can also import lists as well. I haven't played around with that yet, so I'm not really familiar with it. And same for reports, you can actually import keywords. And I know that is something that a lot of people ask about. Um, I have not tried it yet. And if I do, I will do another video showing how it works. Um, but if you are looking for an opportunity to import keywords and try and get the um, competitiveness of it, uh, this tool can probably do that. Okay. You can also tag your keywords. So if you have different websites you're working on, you can tag them, make them easier to find. Okay. So let's do uh, get keyword ideas since that's what we're here for. Okay. Your seed keyword is going to be your main keyword. So say you're, you know, this is a good example, best bike for, um, but let's do best wild card bicycle. Okay. So let's just try this and see what happens. They do give you some information here about your seed keyword. Okay. So what the wild card is going to do, it's going to deliver different opportunities for me. It may be best blue bicycle, best off-road bicycle, best beach bicycle. Um, so that wild card is going to allow low fruits to go through and see what's out there that I can rank for using that term. Okay. So the wild card can go anywhere. So the example as it had shown was best bicycle for wild card. Okay, so it might be best bicycle for the elderly, best bicycle for five-year-olds. Um, so wherever you put the wild card, it's going to fill in the blank for you, um, which is a priceless. You can also do multiple seed keywords. So I can do best, best wild card bicycle. I can do um, how to ride a bicycle. So you can have up to three seed keywords in your list. Okay. You do not want to use generic terms here. Um, it, when you're using generic terms, you're going to have way too many results and it's going to take forever to go through them. So you really want to try and keep it as niche as possible. Okay. And then you have negative keywords. So say I was doing um, off-road bikes only. You know, I might want to do best star bicycle and then do a negative keyword for you know beach or whatever other types of bicycles I don't care about. 
Okay, so it's it's pretty flexible in how you can use it to to maximize the cost of it. Um, so the more you minimize the keywords, the easier the research is, and the less money you're going to spend. Okay, then you're going to choose your country, which they have quite a few, and then they, it is available in a few languages right now. Okay, advanced options. I only played with it once. I, I haven't really done anything. I usually just leave it alone. But you can put in your domain. So for one of the examples I did, I just pulled a vegan website. I did a veganfoundry.com. I entered that in here, and then I did find keywords. And the reason I did that is what it'll do is it'll kind of look for the authority of Vegan Foundry, and then it'll allow the tool to tell me how easy it'll be for me to rank for a keyword. So for example, if Vegan Foundry has a domain authority of 30, then Low Fruits is gonna see any results that are a domain authority of less than 30 and give me a signal that it's less than 30 and I should be able to easily rank for it. So this could be useful. Um, I, I don't know that I'll use it a lot, but I, I thought that was kind of cool. And then you can also do negative keywords. Okay, if you want to. I, I just leave it. This is in here by default. So I'm just going to click find keywords. And then what it's going to do, it's going to give you the keyword ideas. Okay, and it goes pretty quick. So here you can see I found 231 keywords. Okay, now guys, you can see all the keywords here. Okay, so when I click access, you'll see I have 16 credits. I'm going to click access. Okay, then you can see the credits are still there. And now I have all of these keywords that I can start looking through to see if there's any that might be interesting to me. Okay, so Best Adventure Bicycle. Um, Best Adventure Bicycle 2021 and 2020. I obviously don't want these, so I can get rid of those. Okay, and that I like that too, that you can just hide them. Um, if there's ones you want to get back to, you can add it to a list. Maybe you're not ready for it right now, but you want to add it to a new list. Uh, best bicycle, best bicycle for 10 year old. So let's take a look. Okay. Um, best adventure bicycle. We'll go for this one. Okay. I'm not going to add it to list. I'm going to click here. Okay. And then this little pop up comes up. I'm going to analyze it. Now, this is what's going to use a credit. Okay. So once that is done, okay, it'll go to 15 credits. Okay, and that's why you have to be careful and really use your smarts and trying to figure out which keywords will make the most sense for you because you don't want to be running all of these. Okay, so you really want to take the time and go through them and see which ones make the most sense. Okay, so we'll let this go. Best Adventure Bicycle. Volume is about 260 searches a month. It's got a featured video. Okay, I can see how many words are on the top three search results. So I kind of get an idea. So 6,000 words. So these are some really long posts and it's going to show me any weak spots. So we have cycletraveloverload.com, which has a domain authority of 17 and is in position 10. So a little bit of an opportunity here if I have a website that has a domain authority of over 17, um, but they're at position 10. So you have to take that into account that it might be a little bit harder, you know, to get into the middle of page one. Okay. Then they have all of these opportunities here. Okay. So high intent, um, you can look for, if you had more of these, I don't want to use up all my credits, but if we had more of these run, um, you can do these different filters that will help you understand, you know, all these different functionalities, which ones are really low fruits, top 10. Okay. So like this one just filtered out this one, it's in the top 10. I can obviously try and win for that. Um, status. I'm going to just look for analyzed. Okay, now I can look for just not analyzed. Okay, so all these little filters can help you out. And then there's a few other options here as well. They have some questions, okay, some related terms. Okay, best gravel bikes. That might be something you want to look into. Specialized gravel bike. Okay, and then clusters. You can build out clusters. I, I, We'll see if I can do this in another uh, example. I'm going to show you in a second. And then these are the top competitors that rank for anything with like best bicycle. Okay. And you can see the domain authority. Okay. So some pretty competitive items in here. We got a 76, a 70. This guy's doing pretty good for a 32. 
signals. They're all affiliate, of course. Okay. This one has Ad Thrive on it. This one has Media Vine. Media Vine. Okay. So lots of different opportunities here to kind of see what's going on in the world. Okay. So let's go back to reports. Okay. So this was one I did for best vegans. So I found best air fryer for, for vegans. I added it to my list. You can see here, it's telling me 210 searches a month, um, about 3,600 words on the top three pages on average. Okay. This one is position five. It's a domain authority of 10. This one's a domain authority of eight and position six. So two fruits is better than one fruit. Okay. So I should really be able to easily rank for that. Okay. Now, Vegan Foundry, what's really cool, this was the one I did um, when I searched for the keyword, I put in Vegan Foundry as the domain. So what's cool is Best Flower for Vegans, it's telling me I should be able to rank for this pretty easily, but I'm at position 19. Okay. So what this is telling me, I might want to go and figure out why I'm not ranking higher because it's telling me I should be able to beat this person out. It's a DA26. My site is stronger than that. Maybe I just need to re-optimize that page. Okay. You can double check how many words are on the page. Okay. You can view the SERP right here. Okay. So you can see the top ranking pages. Okay. This is the one that I should be able to beat. Okay. This one's a 29 and it's not telling me I should be able to beat this. So my authority for Vegan Foundry is probably somewhere between 26 and 29. Okay. Maybe 27 or 28. Okay. It's telling you the length. Okay, so, so much great information here. Okay, and then you can go right to Google as well from here. Okay, and that introduces you to Low Fruits. If you have any questions at all or you want to see something else, please let me know. But I hope you enjoyed this and have a great day. Please let me know if you do try it and what you think. I would love to hear feedback. Have a great day, everybody.